Wear the Gown is sponsored by CHI St. Vincent. It is 520 right now and to fully understand today's gown topic, we first have to visit a factory with our tour guide. None better than Craig O'Neill. Let's just say this is a factory that processes sugar, but it's a factory where all the workers don't show up and you show up with sugar that needs to go into the factory. It's going to be much harder for that uh, factory that's already on short staff to process a lot at one time. With the help of Laura O'Hearn, endocrinology physician assistant at CHI St. Vincent Little Rock, we have just described diabetes. It inherently comes down to the body is unable to fully process sugar in the normal way. And to show you how widespread it is in Arkansas, Laura has another analogy. If you're in a room right now with any more than two other people than you, chances are that at least one of you has diabetes or prediabetes. That's serious. That's a large percentage of the population. And with diabetes, you've got to see your doctor regularly. It's a progressive disease that only gets worse over time. Without a pandemic on board, diabetes is the leading cause of blindness, kidney failure, and lower limb amputations in the United States. And that takes us back to our factory, where you can learn a valuable lesson. You can control how much sugar you deliver to that defective factory at any given time. CHI St. Vincent, like most clinics, is up and running and willing to help while observing pandemic protocols. And once you make a commitment to improve, you change your life's trajectory. I had a, a patient who came to me at the beginning of the year to talk about their diet. This patient was on over 300 units of insulin a day and multiple other diabetes meds, plus had um, hypertension, uh, high cholesterol, lots of problems. Hopeless? Oh, no. A low-carb diet, exercise, monitoring and checkups and consultations, and what had begun in January 2020 with expensive insulin and a bleak future. Ten months later, this individual is now completely off of all insulin with a nearly normal hemoglobin A1C, and he achieved this with dietary control and the weight loss that came with him getting his diet uh, into line. So I was incredibly inspired by that story. He had reached the magical point where he didn't need to worry about his factory. Uh, please note, he was not alone. It's just, it's so much better when we do it together as a community. That is impressive. One final word about the classic early symptoms of diabetes, a lowered energy level and dry mouth. If that has been bothering you, call your primary care physician or CHI St. Vincent for help.